So now it's time to climb. Uh, there is a 9A, 9A plus, first ascended this spring by Stefano Gisolfi. It's called The Beginning because he opened it right after the lockdown was released. And it's a link up between two 8C pluses, Scent Anger, Zauberfi, and basically combines the two cruxes of the Bofruits. He gave it 9A, 9A plus. I think it's really, really power resistant. I gave it a one try just to check the moves. Um, I found one knee bar that kind of takes a little bit of the endurance aspect down. Uh, hopefully it will help me to send it quickly. Let's see what the next try can bring. So first you climb easy 5 meters of scramble, you go up, clip the second bolt, down climb one move, go back into the knee bar and you start with power resistance climbing. These first moves are really tiring, it's mostly big moves on good holds, except for maybe this one, this right hand is not great and you have to commit and go to an okay hold. Kind of tiring clipping position. I had this tactic of extending this draw to have the ability to clip from underneath and not having to clip in the first crux of this route, the crux of the sand anger, which has two options. You can either do this big iron cross move when you just span all the way to the good pocket or there is another option to use to hold extra. After you pass this first crux of Scent Anger, the AT+, up to there it's AC already, you make the new section, Traverse to the left. There are six moves that are completely new. This crossover move is quite hard. Move your body to the left, use this intermediate, left drop knee and pretty hard move all the way into this sloper, which is good enough to clip to maybe choke up, but without the knee bar that I'll be using, it is not really even something that you can call rest. This knee bar is a huge help, even though the knee bar itself is pretty ridiculous. You can see that my right foot is completely in the air, and if you stay there longer, you kind of start rotating, and that's not comfortable. Pretty much everything is telling you at that moment that you are about to fall off. But you have to have this confidence that you're going to hang on because the longer you can rest, the higher you have a chance of not falling above. The good thing is that you can just keep switching your legs, which is great because you have to produce so much tension against pretty bad foothold that you're able to hang there for maybe only 10 or 15 seconds at once. But once you switch the flag, the other leg is able to recover for a little bit and then you just keep doing it right, left, right, left. And due to that, I could maybe stay there for one minute and a half. The problem is that once you use this knee bar, it's not that easy to actually get out of it. Here in this position, I was already pretty tired in both my legs and my core, but I felt my forearms were so much more relaxed. Right above, there is something that you can call the crux of the second AC+, Zauberfi. Big moves on holds which are not that good. This hold is probably a crux. And once the angle kind of eases off, 
the difficulty of the single moves become easier and easier but it doesn't really help because now the real resistance of the climb really kicks in. The holds are getting, I would say, even bigger. The angle is less overhanging, but you're just getting progressively more and more pumped. In this part, I'm somehow desperately trying to rest and take something back, but I feel it's not really useful and I felt I definitely need to sprint in this last section, which is actually amazing. This sharp gray rock, just perfect to climb. Here in this section, it's getting almost vertical and I would say pretty easy, but even the first ascension is Stefano Gozovsky managed to fall off in this point. And as he skipped the draw, he scratched his back by hitting the tree behind. Fortunately, I had enough gas in my forearms due to the knee bar and I clipped the anchor. Okay, Jimmy. Yes! Oh, so bumpy. Yes, <laughs> it's pretty heavy. A little bit sad that it's thanks to my knee bar uh, skills, but uh, I think if there wasn't a knee bar, I would need a few more tries. What I was really surprised is that the section that actually links those two AC pluses could be like, it might have the hardest moves by itself. And there is one move that I actually didn't try at all when I was just checking out the moves because it just felt it will be easy and to save some energy and stuff. And it turned out to be like pretty hard and I almost fell there. <laughs> so I made it to the rest into the knee bar, pretty tired. Like the first HC plus, the sand anger, the crux of sand anger felt really solid. I felt strong. But as I made it into the section which links, I was in quite a lot of troubles. I made it to the rest, pretty tired. But then in the knee bar, I recovered quite well. So the crux of Saubrefi was all right, but then there is this resistant top out on these amazing pinches and crimps in this gray rock, amazing climbing and bumpy as hell. Luckily, I didn't let it go. Beh, è sempre un'emozione far sicura sicuramente ad Adam primo. Poi non è che succede spesso far sicura su di un 9A. Quando, no, avevo, ho avuto paura quando non hai più moschettonato la parte finale. Lo conoscevo quando era più piccolo. Comunque è un grande, bravissimo. Bravo Adam. Oh, bravissimo, sempre bravo, sempre bene. Quando massimo arrivano 